Okay, you bunch of hecklers. Uh, this video is AP Calculus related rates problem, and this is the balloon incident. And what we have in this problem is we have this balloon, a spherical balloon, round, and it's we're putting air into it at a rate of eight inches cubed per second. That's how fast we're inflating this. And what we want to know is how fast is the diameter of the balloon increasing when the volume is 36 pi inches cubed. So here's our pressure. We want to know what happens when this thing is at 36 pi inches cubed. It's the volume. So what we know for sure is this, and this is what I really want to get to with you guys. I think we're starting to make some headway on this, is that this, right, we're, we need to start getting our related rates here. So one here, we have the derivative of volume with respect to time. How fast, What's at what rate is air going into this thing? This is my air canister. This is the, yeah, it's the hose. And this is our balloon here. Um, so we have that. We also know this, just some facts we know. We know that the volume is 36 pi inches, right? So that's our, our V value. So, and we also know some other stuff, just start gathering. We know that the basic equation for volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Isn't that right? And we also know that D, diameter, is the same as 2 or so I'm gathering my rates here and that's what we're supposed to do you know what I think I'm gonna do this while I'm here uh, this I'm gonna you know I'm gonna gather these things neatly one is I have a rate right here I'm gonna get another rate right here I think so what I think I'm gonna take is um, rate I'm sorry derivative of diameter with the respect to radius Right? So what's the first derivative of this? The first derivative of this thing right here is just 2, isn't it? So I'm going to gather that right here, if you don't mind. I'm going to keep going. Uh, what else do I want to get? Oh, you know what? Let's take this, and I think we can start finding this. Our goal here is now to find the derivative of, of diameter with regard to time. But the only way that we're going to do that is we're going to gonna have to isolate radius. So here's radius. So radius. Oh, you know what we can use? Let's use this. We know that the volume is 36 pi, don't we? And the reason I'm choosing this is because, look, I need radius here is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good idea, good idea, good idea. So let me just show you my algebra here, if you don't mind. I'm going to put this pi up here so you can see it like this. And then what I'm going to do is use this as a coefficient, so I'm going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal here, so by 3 over 4 pi. If I do that here, this goes away. This goes to this goes to 9. This goes away. We get 27, right? If you're confused, stop for a second. Just do this little bit of arithmetic here, but it's r cubed. All right, I'm going to take the cube root of this thing, which happens to be 3, so r is equal to 3. Isn't that right? Okay, r is equal to 3. I like that. All right, we're going to come back and use this later. I'm just figuring out how I'm going to take this stuff here. I'm going to come back and use this in a minute. Now what I want to do is I want to find the derivative of radius with respect to volume, right? Which the Right? So we're going to take derivative of volume here of volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. <clears throat> I'm going to differentiate this. This is going to come together in just a second, so hang in there with me. We know that the first derivative of volume with, right, of this is just 1, isn't it? And, that, and then we're going to take the derivative here of 4 thirds pi r cubed, keeping in mind that pi is not a variable, it's a number, about 3.14-ish, right? I'm going to use the uh, chain rule here and get 12 over 3, which is 4, right? So is 
4 pi r cubed. And now remember, we just used the chain rule here. So what we're going to do is now we have to take the derivative of the inside with respect to volume. And the derivative of r with respect to volume is obviously the division, uh, the derivative of r with respect to volume. All right, remember what we really wanted. Whoa, what we really wanted, if you remember, we were looking for this piece right here, right? That's what we're here for, to grab this piece right here. Wow, I almost screwed that up. Volume here, right? So I'm going to divide both sides by this and take the reflection of this. We're going to take this derivative here is equal to, right, 1 over this mess. So 1 over 4 pi r squared. Right, this I should have decremented here, right? I, I multiply, right? I multiplied this by three, and I should have reduced this by one. So that's where that two comes from, isn't it? All right. So look what we have here. We I, we're almost there, you guys. We're almost there. So we're gathering all these rates, aren't we? So we have our rates, and now where do we go next? Now where we go next is here. That. We have all of our pieces. We just need to put them where they belong now. So we, what we said we were going to do is, wow, that's pretty cool. We are going to take the derivative of diameter with respect to time. We want to know at what rate is the diameter changing here, right? And it's equal to the derivative of diameter with respect to radius times the derivative of radius with respect to volume times the derivative of volume with respect to time. Look, it seems like crap, but we have all this stuff. Um, for example, we have this piece right here, right? This is dr, this is dr dv. Dr dv is here, so we'll just bring this piece right down to here. And we know it is 1 over 4 pi r squared, isn't it? Remember for a second, as we're talking about this, that we solve for r remember that so that's going to really help us in just a second so I'm going to go right now I'm going to go up and find this piece and if we go back in your notes and get this piece this piece was and I'm looking at my notes frankly uh, this piece was this piece right here oh that this is the easy one right it's just two right remember we did we did that the diameter is equal to two two radius and we took the we, we took the derivative when we got that two right there. And what else do we know here? Oh, this is the easy one, right? I, I'm looking at this so hard because when we started, they told us that the rate that the volume was increasing over time was 8 inches cubed per second. So this is just 8 right here, isn't it? So remember that we're taking time, right? So we're going to multiply this. We're going to get 16 over r, right? Let's do this for a second. r was 3, so 3 squared is 9. 9, nine times 4 is 36, so 36 pi is equal to the derivative here. I'm going to simplify some more, and this goes to... 4 ninths pi, so equals 4 ninths, 4 over 9 pi, right? Oh, got it, you're, not, you're gonna try to take it easy on me, inches per second. If we forgot to put that little mark there and we're taking the AP exam, you get slapped for that and it's terrible, so I apologize. So we'll make sure you use your units, okay? I know we have not done a ton of this yet. It's going to get easier. The more that we do, I did the latter example also. I'm going to do a couple more. Please make sure you're watching them. I'm dying to hear your comments. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and keep the faith. It's going, it's going good.